Hey guys, so on our 2009 Subaru Tribeca, I was having a coolant leak and I could see the saturation on the foam on the lower part of the radiator there and up underneath. You can see a drip, uh, not a puddle, just a drip. I've already taken the engine splash shield off here, as you can see, just so I can troubleshoot and try to locate where the leak's coming from a little bit better. And next, we're going to take off the intake air duct. We'll get a better look down in here and I can see where the coolant has been on top of the lower hose. So I was hoping just the top hose was leaking or maybe even a clamp. Hoping to get by a little bit cheaper, but it's looking like to me, I got a lot of discoloration and stain, if you will, around this joint here, of course, um, from the radiator to the end cap, the plastic end cap. So we can tell that's like a clamp or compression uh, manufactured clamp there. and. It's definitely been leaking, it looks like, around there. So just getting a little bit better look here. Sorry, sideways, but the best way I can get my phone in there is so close. But you can see in this shot right here, I'll, I'll do a little steal of it. You can see in between the hoses, there's just a little bit of like corrosion and buildup in between those that joint. So I'm going to do a pressure test, and I just ordered this cheap radiator test kit off of Amazon, and... I'm just going to give it a shot and see if it'll show me exactly where the leak's coming from. So we see our gauge here. We don't want to go out of the green uh, naturally. We don't want to go above really 10 PSI. Um, I think we're okay to go up to 13, but we definitely want to make sure our radiator is not hot before we try to remove the cap. This one's been sitting here all day. So a good rule of thumb, if you can't uh, touch the top part or the, the top hose on the radiator comfortably and, and hold on to it, then um, it's definitely too hot to open the cap up. So be mindful of that. So this comes with the caps and the pump, and um, I just chose the right cap for our Subaru. I actually pumped this up to 5 PSI, and I could see the leak, so I went on up to 10 just to show you better on camera. You can see it bubbling out here pretty good, and the, the pressure has fell to nearly zero, and it's still bubbling out, and just as suspected, it is coming from the radiator seam here on this passenger side in between the upper uh, radiator hoses here. So unfortunately, it's going to take a radiator. So I ordered a Denso, original um, manufacturer of the radiator. I got it from Amazon. I'll have a link in the description of, um, if you're interested as well, as I'll try to have a video of installing it, the steps we take from putting the fans on, the hoses back. Hope you find the video helpful. Hope you'll stay tuned and watch the uh, radiator replacement video as well. And if you like this pressure test video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless.